and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for everyone who watched my last video and liked it and shared it. I felt so much love from everyone. It was awesome. So I, as you can tell, I'm a little sick, so my voice sounds a little terrible and a little manly, but that's okay. Um, I feel was finally feeling well enough to be able to make another video. So I'm sorry for the delay, but I was enjoying my family with three Christmases, so all last week, so I wasn't able to put out a video. But this week, I'm back in action. So I created this look using the Becca Ombre palette, which um, comes with, it's not, they're not named or anything, but it just has five shades in it. And it kind of ranges from a super like light white to a dark brown maroon color. So I also realized that I paired this look with another bold lip, which I know is not for everyone. Um, but I do give two different lip options in this. One that's just like a peachy gloss that could be for people who are more, don't want to pair a bold lip with a bold eye. I do have this cough. Um, from my sickness. So anyway, please bear with me. I'm so sorry that even my voiceover will probably have this nasty voice, but just forgive me. Anyway, so if you want to learn how to create this look, then just keep watching. So first I'm going to start off by priming my eyes with my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and then just blending that out with a damp beauty sponge. Taking MAC Mineralized Skin Finish, I'm just going to set that concealer to help the shadows go down a little bit easier. And going in with the palette I talked about in my intro, I'm going to take the second lightest shade and just put that all over my lid and kind of creating my transition shade. And just to make sure that it blends even better, I'm going to take Peach Smoothie from Makeup Geek and just put that right in my crease area going up towards my eyebrow. Taking the third shade in the palette, I'm going to lay that on top of the other shades we just put down just to try to darken it up a little bit. Taking the darkest color in the palette, I'm going to put this all over my lid, trying to stay below the crease area. This part can be a little messy and a choppy, but if you keep blending, it will come together. Then taking the shade Chickadee from Makeup Geek, I'm gonna just dust this in my upper crease to just make sure everything is nice and blended. And before I go in with my winged liner, I just like to clean up the edges just to make it a little easier for me to draw my line. Using Maybelline Gel Liner and my new Sigma Angled Brush, which obviously I'm, I'm excited about, I'm gonna go ahead and make my wing. I like to start on the outer corner and just draw my line and then connect that to my inner corner and then just fill it in. I know that for some wings can be super intimidating, but if you just practice, you can totally get it down. So another trick is to take a makeup wipe and just clean up the edge of your wing to make it extra sharp. Then, after adding a quick coat of mascara, I'm going to go in with false lashes. I believe that these are the House of Lashes Iconic.
And guys, I am totally still loving this product for my primer. I just really love that it gives me a little extra moisture and luminosity since I'm really dry. And I just work that into my skin until I feel that it's become a little bit tacky just to help the foundation stick to it a little bit. So today I'm gonna use the MAC Studio Fix Foundation. I'm in shade NC15. And since I always need a little extra moisture, I'm gonna just spray my brush with Fix Plus and then blend out my foundation with my Morphe foundation brush. So then taking my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge, I'm just going to put that concealer in triangles underneath my eyes, around my nose, on my chin, and on my forehead. Now when using a sponge to blend out your concealer or your foundation, you just want to make sure that it actually is damp or else you're going to have a lot harder time being able to blend out the product. And because I wasn't feeling the super contoured look, I'm going to take my Makeup Forever bronzer and just warm up my face. <laughs> I don't know why, but lately I've been really loving this um, Sigma Angled Kabuki brush to bronze and contour my face. And I believe that I'm using the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer here. So since we're using more mauve tones, I wanted to use this blush by MAC in the shade Mocha which I don't know why it's called Mocha since it's pink, but either way, it's really pretty. And now it's time for brows. I'm going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in shade Soft Brown. I'm speeding through this, but that's mainly because it takes me a really long time to do my brows, and I'm considering doing a in-depth brow tutorial for my next video. Also you guys, I cannot stress how important it is for you to have a spoolie to actually blend out your brows. It will make such a difference. Okay, so brows are complete. I'm going to then go in with Makeup Geek Shimma Shimma and just highlight my brow bone and my inner corner. This is just one of my favorite highlights. I feel like I always get the most payout from just a little bit of product. So to finish up the eyes, I'm gonna take the darkest shade in that palette and just use a flat definer brush to put that color on my lower lash line. And then dipping into the third shade in the palette, I'm just gonna blend that darker shade out with a pencil brush. Okay, so this step is not necessary, but I'm gonna take the shade Roulette from Makeup Geek and just dust that mainly on the center of my lower lash line. It just adds a little more warmth to the look, but yeah, like I said, not necessary. And then I'm gonna add a little coat of mascara, and I'm just using the MAC Giga Black Mascara that is my favorite one to use for the lower lash line. Okay, so I start off going in with this highlight from MAC, which is one of their like mineralized skin finish ones, which is really pretty. I like the blue that's weaved in it, but I just wasn't really liking the payoff that I was getting from it. 
So instead, I'm gonna take one of my favorites, which is Champagne Pop from Becca, and just dust that right over the MAC one. So here is lip option number one. It's just a corally peachy gloss from MAC. Definitely more daytime appropriate for those of you who don't want to do something as bold as my second option. Okay, and here is option two. It's a liquid lipstick um, from the Anastasia Beverly Hills in shade Veronica, which these are not my favorite um, liquid lipsticks just because they're more of a moussey texture versus a liquidy texture, which means that they still smudge a little bit on me, but either way, the colors are gorgeous and they suck me in so I get them. Okay, so the look is complete. Thank you so much for watching and putting up with my sick voice. I will see you guys in my next video. I wanted to change. Um, ugh. Love that I got from everybody. No. it out um <sighs>